Hello everyone, welcome back to Altengrad, a city skyline series. We continued working on the cargo port last week and also started some blocks of buildings next to it to connect the port with the rest of the city. For today's project we will build more of that mostly residential area and if you remember we have a railroad going through it to the main train station. We will convert that railroad to a viaduct and detail and build all around it. Okay, so at first we are going to convert that uh, railroad already and just lower the terrain around it. I will have to do some more extensive terraforming around this area because I kind of plan to advance the city from this point in a slightly different manner than the terrain kind of, uh, you know, allows me. So uh, in the coming episodes I will be mostly flattening some of these places. Obviously this place right here where the viaduct is, is going to be some sort of a tiny valley. Uh, you know, to justify building the railroad like this over here and uh, slowly it's just going to probably go uh, higher. Anyway, at the start of today's project I'm also going to build quite a lot of roads and uh, do some of these blocks where I'm later going to put, uh, you know, just the blocks of buildings, right? But uh, right now I really wanted to just uh, do this kind of planning and put all these roads and create these grids. Uh, it's not exactly like a finished uh, thing. I did uh, quite a lot as you can see. We already reached this place, uh, mostly the, the main train station with, those, uh, with this planning, but I'm just skipping through it in this time lapse anyway because like I said, it's not exactly a finished thing, but I just wanted to show you that I did uh, that and you will definitely see that in the cinematics as well. Alright, so this viaduct is not exactly all that super long, it's just going over this, like I said, some sort of a valley, so it can continue towards that uh, train yard, the small train yard that uh, just goes from the cargo port, and where later I will probably build some uh, smaller, city, smaller town, village maybe, and uh, it's probably going to be some sort of a village that just recently got uh, connected to the city itself. Now, down here, I'm doing quite a lot of intersections for the trams. Later, I'm going to get rid of some connections, but add more. Uh, it's going to be kind of complicated doing that. Uh, I really wanted to have the intersections on completely flat ground, of course, because I needed uh, to then put cobblestone on it. You will all see that. And obviously the wires and all kinds of those uh, details that just are necessary for these intersections. So some of these places need to be completely flat, which was not exactly all that easy. So... In the end, uh, I only limited uh, these intersections, these uh, big intersections, to just a couple of places where I think they might be uh, most useful, right? But uh, later I'm definitely in the series going to add a lot more lines. I was starting to do that already in uh, just a couple of previous episodes where I started putting more lines on more than just one line on a track, uh, which created some traffic issues already in the city. If you've been on the on the yesterday's live stream, then you could have definitely seen that we were dealing with some uh, quite big traffic issues already in the city. And I was explaining that that's actually quite good because it's going to be like a real motivation to then do some changes to the city as the time goes on. So that's good, that's good. That's uh, something that I was really hoping that it would happen, that traffic issues would arise already in this time period so that uh, probably after the war we are going to do some uh, some infrastructure changes and just dedicate, you know, whole episodes for just reworking some road systems in the city. But anyway, that's uh, that's long into the future, right? Not exactly something that we need to concern ourselves with right now. So I was saying the, the trams, right, uh, I was talking about the trams. So the trams, uh, they will definitely be extended all around the city. I was doing some reading again about uh, the trams in Prague, for example, and uh, it's kind of surprising that there were quite a lot more uh, lines and tracks just all around the city, like every second street had uh, its own tram tracks, probably over-exaggerating a bit, but they were, there were a lot of uh, tracks all around the city. Altengrad is probably going to be very similar in this regard, that it's going to have tracks everywhere, but to be completely honest, I don't really want to do the tracks everywhere because you know, it's not that easy to do them, especially the intersections, if I want to create them realistically, I have to use my intersections, the ones that I have the larger, the offsets larger, so that the radius is going to be much better. But uh, that means that it needs to be on completely flat ground, it needs the cobblestone underneath it, and uh, its own wires manually placed. And that all takes quite a lot of time, so you can imagine that uh, I don't exactly want to do them too much, but... Uh, 
you know, I need to find some balance because it is very realistic to do a lot of uh, tram connections throughout the city, right? So I'm probably not going to make like every single, every second street have its own tracks and its own line or whatever, but uh, I will try to make it, I will try to make it uh, dense with the trams, all right? So this place that we are building right here, it's it's a lot of these blocks, right? Uh, when I first started doing this episode, I obviously did the roads and like I said, we needed to finish these uh, blocks with uh, all these buildings. So they are mostly residential buildings. Uh, towards the main streets, I'm trying to put commercial buildings because as you can see, the demand is, is very high for uh, industrial buildings, but that's partially because I don't have the industrial buildings in the city working because I'm, I'm still not uh, having any vehicles that will transport the raw materials into buildings because I didn't find any like historical vehicles, like historical trucks or something. Well, I did, but only for the general goods into the commercial buildings, but not for raw materials. I'll probably have to uh, convert some of the vehicles that I have into the raw material transports, uh, probably in the editors, something like that. But uh, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not really doing that right now. So we still have very high demand for uh, industrial buildings. I would like Altengrad to be working even in the game. So right now I would like to just uh, just uh, you know work my way towards uh, just fulfilling this demand. But uh, I'm not exactly sure if the demand for industrial is correct at this point because, like I said, it's probably mostly due to the buildings just not working. But there definitely is demand for commercial buildings. So, I, like I said, I'm trying to place commercial buildings in these blocks uh, around the main streets. Now, of course, in cities like whatever, cities that have these kinds of uh, blocks of buildings, you mostly have the first floors or the bottom floors of these buildings just dedicated to some shops and, you know, just services. And uh, the rest of the floors are usually residential. The city skylines, we don't have anything like that. So... Uh, I don't really have that much, that, that, that many buildings to choose from for just purely commercial, but I do have quite a lot of buildings for residential. I kind of wish that there were some, you know, buildings that uh, had uh, like both so that they would be residential and commercial. Uh, it just occurred to me that I could probably start placing one of those uh, cube buildings, you know, the fake buildings that I uh, created for procedural objects uh, for commercial purposes, just put a few of them inside of these residential buildings and be done with it. Uh, I disabled the noise pollution anyway in the city because it's kind of stupid how it works in the game that uh, you basically cannot put commercial buildings anywhere near residential buildings, which is just not realistic at all. Like I said, you usually have first floors uh, commercial and uh, the rest of the floors residential and it's just working uh, perfectly fine, right? Perfectly fine. All right, so I mostly just talked all over me building these uh, these blocks in this episode, which is kind of what I was aiming for, because like I said in the previous, previous episodes, uh, many previous episodes, uh, doing these residential blocks, or well, just blocks, not exactly residential only, uh, doing these blocks is uh, more of the same. I'm doing, doing it pretty much in every episode, so I'm even skipping it uh, largely in the time lapses, but it's something that's very necessary for the city and uh, when you do enough of these blocks then the whole neighborhoods are going to look really really good that's what i was saying uh, you know all the time with these uh, european block buildings uh, you kind of need to have a lot of them in one place and uh, it's going to start to look really really good so uh, quantity is very important with these with these old buildings because individually they they do look good sure but uh, you don't really have like a matching styles with most of these buildings and uh, that's fine because that's like it in real life as well you have all these uh, mismatched buildings they kind of do follow at least the heights for example but the styles the colors and all that are not exactly matching and uh, in city skylines is definitely looking much much better when you have a lot of these blocks in one space because the quantity itself of these buildings in, in my opinion just looks uh, looks really really good so like i was even saying in the previous episode i would really like to do in the coming episodes i would really like to do um like one project for example in this one it's the viaduct with all these detailing industrial detailing around it and uh, then just you know with the rest of the time that i have uh, for the episode i'm just going to fill some of these blocks with the buildings and uh, you know when that's done we are probably going to end up with a really big part of the city just all around the core of the city we will have all these residential blocks uh, or mixed blocks i guess with uh, some 
projects uh, inside of them. So for example, the viaduct in here, or probably some parks or, you know, whatever kind of projects I'm going to do in the future, right? So right here, like I said, I'm doing some sort of uh, industrial detailing because this is very common actually that viaducts in urban environments have uh, uses. The, the arches, the individual arches do have uses as some sort of uh, warehouses most probably or small workshops maybe. And they are usually just, uh, just uh, walled off. They have either like a brick walls, usually just uh, wooden walls, later maybe even some like steel. Uh, you know the what's what's that called the metal sheet metal uh, kind of uh, walls but that's a bit early for that so mostly wooden and brick in these uh, in these eras so this place is definitely going to be very suited for some some reworks in the future especially the residential part uh, sorry the industrial part of it and uh, maybe some of these roads are going to be changed so that th this place is definitely going to see some changes as we progress in time maybe the viaduct itself might be later just uh, just widened maybe or repaired and made more modern more suited for modern uh, traffic train traffic right anyway guys uh, i was mostly talking about things uh, not really connected to this episode but uh, i think i really wanted to to talk about those things because uh, it's it's kind of important to uh, talk about the future of the city right and like i said uh, we are we're, we're just building these blocks and uh, i was kind of commenting that a lot in the previous episode so not much else to add uh, these kinds of details, oh, it just occurred to me that I completely omitted from uh, this time lapse when I was putting those, uh, the underground, uh, not the underground, but the, uh, the under track uh, decals for, uh, for the tracks. Well, they are not decals, they are, they are networks. Uh, but in this place, it was very difficult to do because, again, it's on sloped terrain. I was trying to have those uh, train tracks, uh, tram uh, roads uh, on completely flat ground, like the intersections. But some of these segments were just not possible to really do on completely flat ground. So I kind of struggled to do those uh, cobblestones. But they're definitely worth it doing those details because it's just going to look much more interesting. And speaking of much more interesting, these wires, uh, I kind of struggled with those yesterday on the live stream, but uh, in the end, it's uh, it's a very nice touch for these intersections. And it's obviously necessary to put uh, these wires in here because these intersections don't have them. And even if they did uh, by default, then they would just not look very good. So it's much better to put, uh, put them manually in there and uh, you know just create them just create them like this and put everything where it needs to where it needs to be okay now one last thing that we needed to do was to fill all these uh, all these courtyards or just uh, backyards whatever inside of these blocks so the smaller blocks i usually just uh, covered with some trees but uh, in here i also used some of the some of the more industrial like workshops or warehouses uh, buildings and uh, just some details some mud and uh, and gravel and all that just so it's going to look more interesting and uh, and that's it that's uh, all for today's episode for today's build so we still have the cinematics in front of us but before i go i just want to say that i hope you liked this video i thank you for watching it if you did like it then you can always leave a thumbs up underneath the video share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new here also if you directly want to support the channel then you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below this sunday we will have aurelia episode as usual next wednesday a stream probably from altengrad again and uh, altengrad episode episode 20 actually on the next thursday so i'm probably going to do the, or the overview episode just like with the aurelia all right so guys thank you again for watching today's episode take care and goodbye